Welcome back to Mountain Connections. I recently had the honor of speaking with New York Times bestselling author Adam Silvera all about his brand new book, The First to Die at the End. This is a prequel to his bestselling novel, They Both Die at the End. So he's been very popular among not only young adult readers, but all ages alike. I talked with Adam about his fascination with death, if it's morbid, if it's uplifting, how it's a combination of both, his other projects and more. Let's take a look. New York Times bestselling author Adam Sarah is back with a highly anticipated follow-up to his hit young adult novel, They Both Die at the End. The new novel, The First to Die in the End, is set in a world where people are notified of their impending death 24 hours before it happens leaving them to decide how they will spend their last day on Earth. Adam is here with us today. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for chatting. I'm so excited. Well, yes, congratulations. So excited for this follow-up. And I gave a very brief description, but I'd love to hear more about it in your words. Yeah, so I mean, it was a beautiful description. Uh, but yeah, so these novels are set in a, in a universe where an organization called Death Cast will call and tell people when they are about to die. And they can't tell them how they will die or what time exactly that day, just that today is the day and they are never wrong. And in the case of the first to die at the end, it opens on the very first day of the Death Cast program. And it follows two star-crossed lovers, one whom receives the very first Death Cast call telling him that he is about to die. And of course, this is very much connected, as you mentioned, to your best-selling novel, They Both Die at the End. Tell me how you got the idea for this story, for both of these stories to begin with. So I have had death anxiety since I was a kid, and I attribute that to being you know, 11 years old in New York City when 9-11 happened. And then two months later, my favorite uncle died in a plane crash, Flight 587, that was going to the Dominican Republic. And you know, in that two month period, it was just such a time of uncertainty and really coming to an understanding as a kid that someone can be here one day and then absolutely gone with no warning, you know? So I wanted to create a universe where people can better brace themselves for death with just a little bit of a heads up. And one distinct difference, at least from what I can tell, and this might not at all be true, but the two main characters in this book, they don't know for sure if they're going to get that call, but they might, which is different from your first book. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's spot on. And also in the case of they both die at the end, you know, Death Cast has already existed for seven years. So people do believe in that program by then. But in the events of the first to die at the end, it's the first time that that service is being introduced to society. So people are still a little bit like, even if I get the call, is it true? How could they possibly know that I'm about to die? And so you have one character who has like a heart condition, another who's like super healthy. And, you know, the dynamic really just starts to evolve from there. It's interesting that you mentioned you have a fear of death and now you're writing stories all about this topic. Would you describe them as morbid or not? Or, you know, are they uplifting? How do you, I don't want to give anything away though. Yeah, no, I, I would say there's some some morbidness to it for sure. But I do think they are ultimately uplifting novels because yes, death is a shadow that is looming across these characters throughout both novels. But it really is about how you live your life and and watching these characters live as fully as possible before their untimely demises. Had you always planned this follow up to your first book? Absolutely not. I had no plans to ever write a prequel. I had other novels that I was hoping to write in the Death Cast universe, but, you know, I, I wrote other novels in the meantime. And then, you know, with the recent, like, major success that came from TikTok for They Both Die at the End, the doors for They Both Die at the End of the Death Cast universe just reopened. And I found myself asking what Death Cast looked like on day one. And it was also a beautiful opportunity to see the narrators of They Both Die at the End again, but as kids this time in, the, in this prequel. And how has TikTok made a difference with your book? Oh, I mean, it's, they're responsible for making it a phenomenal success. You know, like the book started going viral in August, 2020. You know, we were all still home because of the pandemic. And 
you know, there was a surge in sales. I didn't really know what to attribute it to. I was like, is it on a nationwide summer school reading list or something? I had no clue. And then readers started telling me like, oh, your book's big on TikTok. And I had to download TikTok (laughs) um, because it was not a social media app that I had. And I just discovered all these powerful reaction videos of people sobbing as they reached the end of the book and just like connecting and recommending it to people. It was viral word of mouth. Oh, I love how much it's gotten the word out. Otherwise, it may have been you know, harder for people to get their hands on such a fabulous book. And I'm curious, can you tell us what else you're working on? Yeah, so I have a fantasy series that I'm wrapping up. It's uh, called The Infinity Cycle. Uh, the third book will be out next year. It's set in a world where, you know, people have magical powers. It has like a lot of social media involved and it explores what happens when one brother gets powers and the other one doesn't. And I want to make sure that we all can follow you on TikTok and get your book. Where do you recommend us doing just that? Yeah, so I, you can find me on TikTok and Instagram under the handle at Adam Silvera. It's just my name. And then you can find the books uh, at any bookstore, whether it's your local Barnes & Noble or local independent bookshop, Amazon. You can even find it in Target and Walmart. Adam, congratulations once again. I'm so excited for the first to die at the end. It's available today wherever books are sold. Excited to follow you on TikTok as well. Congratulations and looking forward to all of your next books as well. Thanks for taking time with us. Thank you so much. 